Quick setup for the Climate Logic Weather Sensing System is accomplished in six simple steps. First, enter the watering schedule. Use the controller's program A and set irrigation run times to irrigate each zone for the hottest, driest time of the year. To avoid runoff issues, divide a zone with two staggered start times if needed. Set the controller to water every day if allowed. Otherwise, remember any local restrictions or non-watering days in your schedule. Step 2. Plug in and mount the receiver module. Route the end of the cord through the bottom of the controller and plug it into the controller's remote port. The opening screen now indicates preliminary readings for temperature, water budget, rain detection, time, and date. There are holes to mount the receiver using screws, but for indoor installations we recommend using Velcro strips. It makes programming very easy. If the correct time date information has not automatically transferred from the controller, first press the menu button at the bottom of the screen and use the up or down buttons to select clock from the list, press enter, then setup. Now scroll to set each digit and press next to move on to the next entry. When all the time date information has been entered, don't forget to press the Save button. Pressing Exit will return the display to its main screen. Step 3. Insert the location SD card into the port located on the bottom right corner of the receiver module. This card contains a vast amount of historical weather information for thousands of specific points throughout the United States, southern Canada, and northern Mexico. Step 4. Upload the information related specifically to this property's location. Use the arrow buttons to select location on the list and then press enter. You can use a postal zip code or the latitude longitude coordinates. Again, use arrow buttons to scroll to the correct digit and press next to move on. Once you've entered all the digits, press the save button. By pressing save, the information for your site's specific location is uploaded from the SD card to the receiver module. It takes about 20 seconds. This database of information will be used along with data from the wireless weather sensor to calculate watering schedule changes according to current conditions. You'll probably not need the SD card again, but it's a good idea to store it just in case. Step 5. Activate the weather sensor by depressing the spindle at the top. Hold it down for at least 15 seconds to make certain the electronics are awake. The red light on the left side of the receiver module will confirm communication has been established between the two components. Because the rain sensor has been triggered, the system goes into the default dry-out mode. Just press the bypass button to reset the receiver. Step 6. Adjust the rainfall level for system shutdown. Turn the rainfall adjustment cap to the center position to select a setting between one-eighth and three-quarters of an inch of rainfall. Then turn the cap to lock in your choice. Installation of the sensor can be on the side of a rain gutter or on a flat surface. The ideal location will allow exposure to heat and cold, sunlight, and must receive direct rainfall. With the system up and running, the weather sensor will gather the day's data, sending it to the receiver module. Then, at 8 o'clock in the evening, the climate logic system will take over and make its first water budget adjustment. During the hottest, driest weather, the module will display 100% and direct the controller to use full watering run times. Cooler weather will cause the system to adjust the run times to only a percentage of the total time originally scheduled. In addition to the steps covered in this quick start installation process, Further customization of the system setup can be made to tailor specific features to specific needs. Please refer to the Installation and User's Guide for further details.